You know, finally, um, Antonina Shevchenko is set, you know, to have her second MMA bout. This is a good thing. It's a great thing. And it's time for Antonina to step up and be who she really is. Not what her heart tells her, but who she really is. I'm going to explain. Stay tuned. LDBC. They still can't explain this. The main attraction, satisfaction for your listener, or your leisure. Try to troll the coach and you will end up in a seizure. Pertain upon your brain, you just don't take the plane back. That this the LDBC, you don't tell us how to act. And if you hate the content, then take a step back. Why watch the video? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? How? How? How you gonna explain that? Coach Shelton Harrison, there never be no comparison. You live on the show, sit back and have a listen. And that's just the way that is. All right, all right, LDBC. This is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys, you know what? Antonina, she's set to have her second MMA bout of her career. And I think this is a good thing. I think this is a very, very, very good thing. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to be 100% honest and real in this video. I'm, I'm going to be completely real. I think Antonina needs to not do Muay Thai for, for a while. I think she shouldn't. And I'm just going to tell you guys why. I'm going to explain and break it down. You know... When Antonina, I interviewed with Antonina, you know, she said that, you know, Muay Thai is her heart, that's her passion, and I get it. But, you know, the problem with her doing Muay Thai is that she keeps getting people that pull out of fights. And, you know, so she's always getting these opponents, you know, in my opinion, that they're coming in, and it's not Antonina's fault. It's not her fault. She can't control what happens with these opponents. She can't. You had somebody pulling out because I don't. It's all kind of reasons why these people keep pulling out, and it's like I'm shaking my head, you know. But you know, these people, they're they're gonna always come up with an excuse, and so Antonina are not gonna get those heads on the platter like she wants in Muay Thai. It's just it's not happening, you know. And I just hate to say it, you know, her legacy right now, I think it's in MMA, and I think that she's been denying it for a long time. There's a champion, there's a UFC champion sitting right there. I mean, look at the screen, y'all. We, we're looking at a possible, you know, UFC MMA champion right now, if she chose to. See, that, that's the beauty of being such a great, high-level, skilled person. That's, it's there. It's right there inside of her body. Right now, this woman right here that you see on the screen. And this ain't a diss to any of the other fighters in the Bantamweight division. This not a diss. It's not a diss at all. But I'm just speaking, I'm speaking truth. I'm, I'm saying this. This woman, for her whole life, for as long as she can remember, okay, for as long as she can remember, you know, she's been there. And she's been training like crazy. Okay, she's been there. She's been training like crazy. She's been training MMA her whole life. And that's what people don't understand. She's been an MMA fighter. But dang it, the people, if the, the real competition not going to get in there, the last person that challenged you, it was Anissa Hadawi in the octagon. And, you know, I'm sure Anissa probably would have taken the fight against you in Muay Thai. I'm sure she would have. The opportunity didn't present itself. But you know what? There are going to be opponents in, in MMA that probably won't pull out of a fight with you. And it's time to finally realize the champion that you really are meant to be. And I know you don't do this for, uh, for fame. I know you don't do it for fortune. I know Antonina doesn't do it for any of the things that I listed. But you know what? Some point in everybody's life, it's time. Even, even for the person that don't want shine. It's time. And it is your time. It, it, it is Antonina's time to really get this thing and really become the champion that she's really meant to be. I don't believe in legacy sometimes. I believe in destiny. And... Everything is pointing towards MMA. Everything. And unfortunately, that's just the nature of the beast. Everything is pointing in alignment to MMA. It's right there in front of your face. We could be looking at the UFC Bantamweight champion right here. We could, this, this, we could be looking at right now. Because I know that there is a fighter who will push Anthony, Anthony who will give you the challenge that you're seeking. Oh, I know. Oh, I know too. That will give you the challenge in the Bantamweight division that you're seeking right now. Because you're hungry. You're looking for somebody 
to really go and give you the fight. You're looking for that fight. At your weight class, you're not going to find that in Muay Thai. It's, just, it's not there. It's not available. You're too good. And the fighters who are halfway decent, they're not going to fight you. And unfortunately, Antonina, that's just something you're going to have to understand. So you're going to be frustrated sometimes with Muay Thai. Not an MMA. I'm trying to tell you. Your destination is right in front of you. It's already there. And that's just what's going to happen. You've been training. You've been doing this for years now. It's, it, it's your turn. See, I believe that God does put people on stages to actually get out there and do. And I don't know if you believe in God. I don't know if you do. I could care less, but I do. And I believe that God puts people in front and puts them on stages now because he gives them a time. He gives them a season. Well, Antonina, it's your season. It's your season. It's time for you to get in there and become the champion that you really meant to be in a sport that you don't have passion for. And I don't want to come all the way out and say that, you know, you, you, you don't have passion for the sport of MMA. But you're, you're 10 times more passionate about Muay Thai. I know because I interviewed you. And when I asked you about MMA, you, you were less passionate. Trust me. Unfortunately, that's the skill set in your body. And God gives you abilities and talent. He put that stuff in your body. Not to let them lay dormant, but to go in there and do them. If, that, if that's your legacy, if, you wanna be, if you're going to fight, then if you're trying to fight the best, well, you know what? Okay, here it is. Here's your chance. Because I can tell you, no, there's nobody in Phoenix that's going to be able to deal with you. There's nobody in Invicta at your weight class that can deal with you. Okay? The fights that you're looking for, whether you want to hear it or not, is in the UFC. And that's, and that's just how it is. That's just the way that is. That's just the way that is. Say what you want. That's fine. Psychology 101. Even for a cold assassin Russian woman like yourself. Doesn't matter. I can read anybody and anything at a lot of times. I'm cool. But I do know. I know people. And I know what people are capable of. I know exactly what's in them. And I know exactly what they can. And what they and what, what they could do. Can be a UFC champion? Absolutely. The question is. Will you take it that far? But I'm going to be covering this fight. Big time. And that's just the way that is. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done. What are you guys waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.